Hello and welcome to Coaching Main Skills 101 Episode 7. Calcs 101 is a series that is meant to teach you the basics of calcs in theory crafting in order to have a better understanding of one of the most important aspects of it. By the end of this episode, you should have a better understanding of the Coaching Main's Calculation Standard, also known as KQMS or KQMC. KQMC is the calculation standard used in calcs, which basically ensures that the character bills are balanced so we can do a proper comparison. All the resources used in this video will be linked in the description below. Alright, let's start with the KQM standard. We have all the standard listed on the compendium side which will be linked and it basically goes around the stuff set distribution. KQMC assures that the stats are going to be distributed accordingly and it will maximize the damage potential of the character within that build. As we can see here, we have sub rolls for every stat, and if we read a bit, we see that they are kept. In KQMC, you can only have 40 substats. 20 of them are fixed, meaning that you are going to have two of each substats, you can't change it, they are mandatory, but the other 20 are flexible and they are supposed to be distributed in the most efficient way to maximize the character's damage. Here you have an example of the distribution. And to add it in our calculator, we are going to need to take the stats here and then place them. I already placed them because it's a bit easier, but you can of course copy them. You will need a cell for the energy recharge requirement, a cell for the flat cap, a cell for the subcam multiplier, one for the overall cap of the number of sat substats. Here we are going to calculate the cap and then down we are going to have like the distribution part alongside with the values for H. Alright, so let's start. Why do we need a year requirement? Because when distributing subs, you first want to hit that energy recharge requirement. So the calc ensures that the character takes in consideration bursting every rotation or having the burst uptime necessary. For flat, here we are going to add how many subs are mandatory to have for each character. As we talked earlier, it's 2. So here I'm going to add 2. If you want to leave the KQM standard and have a different number, you can. For example, you can have 3, which basically means that out of all the subs you have, each substat will have 3 rolls for itself. So you'll have by default 3 rolls for HP%, percent, 3 rolls for flat attack, uh, flat HP, 3 rolls for it, attack percent, and so on for everything. But I'm going to leave it as 2 because that's the KQM standard. And the subcap multiplier, meaning how many subs can you get for each stat per artifact. To have the total of 40, we are going to need to add 2 here. Basically what this does means that every single artifact will have an additional 2 rolls for that specific set. So for example, my flower will have a minimum of 2 sub rolls because of the flat here. And it can also add another 2 flexible. Now, in KQMC, the cap for subs is 40, so here we are going to add 40, and we will have to calculate the cap. Why do we need to calculate the cap? If we take it but by what I just said, we have a flat for everything, and then each artifact can get another 2. That means the cap is 12. Why do we need to calculate it? Well, because you cannot have a substat that is the same as the main stat. So for example, flower has flat HP. I cannot have another two rolls on the flat HP, so I need to exclude the flat and assume that the flexible rolls go on another artifact. So that will lower my cap from 12 to 10. And that's what we need to calculate and have it dynamically so we don't have to manually calculate every time. So how are we going to do that? We are first going to calculate the maximum that we can have, which is the two flat, reference it, plus the two subcap multiplier multiplied by the number of our artifacts we have, which is five. And if we do that, which is correct, that's the cap into KQM standard. But we notice that we have HP percent sense. How do we get rid of that? We are supposed to have only 10 here. So for that, we are going to get everything here in brackets. 
and we are going to use another formula to remove it. So we are going to do the following thing using the count if function. We are going to select the range of main stats and reference it and uh, mark our criteria on the subset we want, which here is HP percent. What this will do, it will count how many times the HP percent is present here in this text, in the main stats, which is one. So if let's leave this for now and take this formula and if we come here and do this formula separately we can see that it counts one if i replace the goblet with hp percent it will count two so that's exactly what we wanted to do but this is not it we have this but we also have to remove the two subs we are going to multiply with the sub cap multiplier again reference it and boom that's it. We now made a cap 1, which is correct. And for example, if I make HP Goblet, it should remove another two substats and makes it 8. And if I have circlet of HP again, makes it 6. And that's the minimum you can get. Now uh, we can copy it to the others. And we can see for crit rate it's also kept to 10 because of crit rate circlet. If I do energy recharge sense, we can see that energy recharge is reduced and we have HP to 12 again. Flat HP and flat attack are also always to 10 because you can change it from flower and plume. Alright, now if we come here, we are going to do the following. Add a 2 for everything because that's the minimum we have set here and the uh, total subs we are going to use the sum function so we are going to do sum and get all the cells here reference it and that's it now we have only 20 but we are not supposed to have only 20 we are supposed to have 40 so we can just edit things here and get to the 40 but at first we are going to want to get these stats linked to our character because as of now we can edit this all we want but it won't do anything. So what we are going to do is move a bit here and do a column for the final subs. Which is going to be basically getting the sub value and multiply it with the number of rolls. Get it all here. Let me correct this here real quick. Doesn't need to be percentages. Needs to be number. Okay. And these are the base rule values for the KQM standard. Each character will have minimum these stats. Now if I want to add more crit rate, I can come here and do 8 rules. And you can see it increases. Now we want to link this to Hu Tao. So what we are going to do. We are going to come back here. At the top and start with attack. Now we will have to add all the attack percentage that we have. So if we come here, we have attack percentage right here. And again, we have flat attack. So we are going to add this too. And now our Utao's attack increased. We are going to continue with HP. Add the HP percent from subs. And then the flat HP from subs. And now, this is our Hu Tao HP again. With defense, we are going to do the same thing. We're going to multiply with 1 plus. Let's come to defense percentage, since we have someone. Plus flat defense. Next, with the crit rate, we are going to uh, also add the crit rate from the circlet. And now the crit rate from the substat. Let's continue with crit damage. We are going to add the crit damage from the substat. Now with the elemental mastery from the substat. And lastly with the energy recharge from the 
substat, which is 100 from the base, plus 11% here. In KQM calculation standard, you cannot have less than 111 ER, that's mandatory, so even for characters like Hu Tao who don't require AR, you will still have some ER on her. So now, with this done, we can basically try to reorder how we can try to do that. Let's first have a tab for final damage. Let's see here, total damage, which is going to be to sum up all our damage from down here. Great. Now, we are going to add another 20 flexible subs and try to maximize this number. Usually, when you do this for damage dealing character, you should prioritize getting to the ER requirement. In Hu Tao's case, it will be set to 100%, but you'll still have the two flat rules. Since it's already got to the requirement, we can focus on something else. Let's focus on crit rate. She needs the crit rate. What's the cap? It's 10 rolls, so we are going to add it 10 here. Great. We still have 12 subs left, so what we can do? Let's add the maximum of crit damage. Oh, now we have two rolls left. Let's see which does more. If I add it into HP percent, let's see how much damage we have. 147k. But what if we add it into EM? About the same. Let's go to the decimals and see which is more. HP percent seems to be a bit more. So this is basically optimized, more or less. Doing them manually is not great. It can be very inaccurate. That's why we automated this process. That's what exactly what we are going to do later. That's it for now though. So if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to join the coaching maze discord at discord.gg slash coaching. For basic questions, you can visit our help channels. But if you have a theory crafting related question, you can go in the theory crafting sections. If you want to ping or message me directly, you can find my discord tag in the description below. This sums up the KQM standard. As mentioned before, the resources used in this video will be linked in the description below. Next episode, Solver.